Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we got simple backhand. Simple and backhand? Well, of course, I got my man, Coach Rob. Stay tuned. got simple backhand for you guys today and of course coach Rob has the simplest backhand and the easiest backhand I've ever seen used so I'm gonna have him teach you his simple and easy backhand all right stay tuned All right, guys, so we're on the court. Got my man, Coach Rob, here. He's got that old school uh, continental backhand here. So I call it the easy backhand. You got one grip. You don't need to worry about anything else. But what, Coach Rob? Just turn, step, and hit. That's it. Just watch the ball all the way. Pick it up early. Turn your shoulders quick. Make sure your hand is that your left hand is the one holding the racket and that your right hand's loose. A lot of times we have people death grip in the right hand, and so when the ball comes to their backhand, they can't change their grip. So now they've got their wrist looking like this and they're trying to hit their backhand. Right? So when your left hand's holding, your right hand can turn. So then you change your grip. Right? So then you come to here, you're making contact out over your front toe, is your goal, and then Easy follow through. Finish high because you got to get the ball above the net. Let's tr do that in slow motion because I don't think the fans caught that. That switch, yeah, that switch. So there I am, say, in my forehand, right, which I'm still pretty close to Continental. Just make a little turn as I as I rotate. I got my racket back. I've changed my grip. Now I'm able to make my swing here. I'm gonna follow through up here. If I'm trying to hit top spin, I'm gonna bend my knees a little more to get under the ball. If I'm going to decide that I got to slice it, I bring my make sure my left hand brings the rack head up. So now that I'm above the ball and I'm going to be able to come down and through. What I try to do to decide that is if the ball is between my ankles and my knees, I'm probably going to have to get down there and slice it. If the ball is between my knees and my waist, it should be coming up into the height I like it at. So I'll be able to put some top spin on it. If it's from my waist to my shoulders and it's up here, I'm probably going to have to slice it. If I'm strong and I'm feeling it, I might be able to hit one hard up here. But that's a tougher that's shot. That's a tougher shot. Yeah. If I had Stan Waranka, he yeah. can take that high backhand and crush it. I'm not Stan. Right. <laughs> so where's the elbow in all this? So my elbow's here. So as I turn, my elbow's relaxed, tucked in here. So when I swing out, my arm extends and the racket comes through. If you think of it like a gate, you're just swinging the gate. Boom. Okay. And then what about the, the shoulder and the back here? So as I turn, I want to make sure my shoulder and my chin are pretty close together because I want to be looking over it so I know that I've got my rotation and that when I come to through to hit, my left hand is now going to be kind of helping me balance, right? So at the end of my swing, my hand's more or less here, helping me stay on balance. Okay. And what about that? What are you feeling in the middle of your back here? So as I get to here, my shoulder blades come together. So in the back, in here, boom. Right, you see that? Here, I'll show you after. So do that again, slowly. See, look, see how this came comes together? This pushes in through there. One more time, Coach Rob. Watch this, bam. You see this part opens up and pushes it that way, okay? Because that arm's coming across. All right, so let, let's see it from the back side, the whole thing. Right. Load up again, all right, bam, okay? See how all this gets turned into there, balances out with the left, okay? You're basically covering the ball and using, you're not really using a whole lot of arm. You're using here, your hips, and you're using your shoulders and your back for the stroke. You're basically like that. So your arm doesn't take much punishment at all. Coach Rob, what? is our feet doing uh, in the beginning to the end of this? 
So at the beginning, what you're trying to do is as you're turning, you're rotating, you're just pivoting on your toes. So you're bringing your toes in, the, in your athletic position and you're able to rotate. And then as you're striding forward, you're measuring your step. You don't want to overstep because then you're going to get jammed up. You'd want to step to the side of the ball so that you're able to rotate through and then you're going to balance your back toe to help you stay um, stable. So you're not falling off balance or you're not flailing away or you're not doing the one, you know, the flamingo backhand. Uh, you're trying to keep yourself balanced. Now, do you want to be perpendicular? Do you want to be like this or do you want to slightly up front here? I, I like, to, if I stride too far into the ball, I end up not being able to rotate my hips. So I'd rather have the ball being, say, along the doubles line here. I'd rather be able to stride on the side of it where I can hit it here and, and through. Got it. Sometimes I may have to be put myself in that position where I'm, you know, You're coming across. Coming the across, I'm a little late. Maybe I'm hitting it down the line. Okay. Um, Got it. But if I can stride forward, now my body's helping me hit it and not just my arm trying to do all, do everything. Got it. So let's let's do a slow-mo from start to finish right now of it. Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, ready position. I'm starting from ready position. Okay. Now, what's number one? Turn. Turn. Right? Right. What's number two? Step. Step. What's number three? Hit it. What's number four? Balance at the end and follow through. There you go. That's why Coach Rob can be out here all day hitting with anybody, uh, teaching anybody, because he uses his whole body to swing through on that backhand especially. It's very, very easy. It's very, very efficient. All right, let's show you a couple of those right now. So because Coach Rob and the stroke is so simple and easy, he can be using pretty much anything and be on time and on target. So I'll show you with this wooden racket. Okay, Coach Rob, show us how it's done. All right. Same idea. Turn, step, and hit. I grew up playing with wood, so this felt really comfortable uh, in my hand. And um, yeah, same swing, turn, step, and hit. Okay. You got to watch the ball a little closer because the racket head is so small, but you should be doing that anyhow. Let's try some, okay? All right. Coach, you look better with that wood than you did with your graphite racket. <laughs> I hit a few better there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you were definitely on time. You hit through the ball. Um, I it, Like the high balls, you cut really well. The ones in your strike zone, you hit through really well. Um, I mean, there is basically no difference. Right. Right? I mean, guys, if you, if you swing with the way Coach um, Rob swings – you will hit the same way because it doesn't matter what's in your hand or how big it is, how heavy it is. Uh, you are going to be efficient and it's going to be easy. Okay. So another challenge for coach Rob, I already gave him the hardest challenge is we're going to try the Prince uh, aluminum. Okay. This should be a lot easier for coach Rob. Um, he could probably teach with this for 12 hours a day and it'd be fine. Okay. So we're going to try this. Now, so Coach Rob, um, I think this had a little too much power for you. You seem to be uh, in more control with that little wooden racket yeah, more than this thing. Uh, what happened with the big steel here? When I, when I got the old <laughs> Prince Classic going again, that first one I hit, I hit it the same way as if I had the wood, and I laid into it, and I just about hit you with it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just had to slow down, swing a little smoother, and uh, put a little more topspin on in the follow-through to get the ball to nice. land in it. Right, so Bob's swing 
is suited for a wooden racket, guys. And if you can play with a wooden racket, you can play with pretty much anything. Coach Rob can adapt to anything. That's why he still plays with a pro staff, 97, after all these years. If that, if that 85 was still around, pro staff 85, <laughs> St. Vincent edition, obviously, uh, Coach Rob would be loving life. He can handle that. He can teach 24 hours a day with that racket. All right, because that's what his stroke is geared toward. Coach Rob, how do we handle that low ball to your type of a backhand? So same idea, turn quick, and then really try to get my weight down on my front foot. Yes, bending my knees will get, get me down there and let that racket head slide under it. Okay. So get low, get the racket underneath the ball. You're gonna have to slice this ball, okay? You're gonna have to slice this ball. Uh, do you ever come over that ball? If I'm there early enough where the ball sits up enough where I can get the racket head under it and I can flick it up and over, Sure. So if I'm up 40, love 45, and I'm going for it, I'm feeling a winner, then yeah, if, I, if it sits where I pick it up early enough, where I can really get there in time to get under it, sure. If I'm trying to play a more defensive, a longer rally, trying to extend the point, then I'm probably going to chip it, try to push it deep, and uh, wait for a better opportunity to go for it. Perfect. And we're going to do it with a wooden racket. So, so those were perfect backhands that were in Coach Rob's wheelhouse. So he sees those hopefully all day, probably not, but you know, you guys hit him whatever, he gets it back, all right? That's his job, that's why he's a coach, okay? Now, I want, I want Coach Rob to do a couple Sampras backhands for me, because uh, I think Sampras held it that way too, right? I, I, that's a good question. I'd have to go check. Kind the, of, uh, kind of. Yeah. I'm going to have them hit three screamers down the line and show you how those look like. All right. All right. Did you see that last screamer? All right. That Sampras style. Okay. So basically the swing didn't really change. What did change though, Coach Rob? Uh, what I tried to do there was get a little more weight into the shot. So I was moving myself forward into the ball a little bit more, try to get onto my front foot a little bit earlier so I could really try to use all my weight to help get some more uh, miles per hour on the backhand. There you go. So it's forward momentum, right? Forward momentum that got Coach Rob through that ball and hit that screamer, right, down the line to finish you off, right? So let's show the boys some high balls with this stroke. So that was the high balls for Coach Rob's for, um, backhand, Coach Rob's backhand. Uh, what did we do different? So there when I saw it coming high, I tried to make sure I lifted my racket head up with my left hand to get the racket head up high enough where I could then try to lean in and slice down and through um, the ball to try to get it back deep. And then when I saw one I liked and thought I could move up on and try to raise my shoulders up and get taller um, to come over the high one, that's a little bit harder um, to, right, to, to do time. a lot with. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot harder to time. And even though the ball looks good because it's up here where your eyes are, where it's closer to your eyes, it's going to look bigger. It's just, it's really hard to do anything with that ball. Right, right. Got it. So we just taught you how to hit the perfect easy, right? Because this is, that's what this is all about. The easy backhand with Coach Rob. So we got one grip, whether it's low, high, or in your strike zone, uh, we don't change a whole lot. It's we either we come through it or we kind of cut it to get the ball back. So it's a very controlled backhand. Um, you can play pretty much all day with this grip. 
right? Coach Rob's been teaching for many, many years, and he's never suffered any tennis elbow or wrist or hand or any type of problems because he uses his body, okay? All you people that tries to jerk with the wrist all over the place, you know, it's not good, right? So if you want to stay in the game a little longer or if you're just starting in the tennis, try this backhand, all right? I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today and teaching you a simple backhand. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.